Hello everyone. In this session of the log concept, uh, this is basically going to be the second number video under the log concept uh, series. In the first video, we have discussed how to log a single record, how to log multiple record, how to log table generically based upon a key field, then how to log entire table. So these concept we understood uh, in very detail. And then now under the second video, we are going to discuss why I'm not able to log multiple records. What is the problem? So sometimes, you know, in some development, you will be able to see that you are not able to log the multiple records in one go. So let's go and try to understand how it is possible. First, I have tried to replicate this scenario. So let's try to understand this. In last session, we have seen that with the help of this loop, we are able to lock the multiple records in one go, right? If you have not gone through the last video, that means the first video of this lock concept series, please go so that you will be having the understanding what actually I'm trying to tell you, okay? So run this one. We are having basically five records in it underscore asset at this now. And what my requirement is to lock all these five records in one go. But if you see that when I press F6, right? And uh, here, like if you come click on the search so that it will be different. The first record is now locked. So that is fine, right? First record because here you can see I intend 3000 and 000. zero 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 so this is locked that's fine but at the same time what i want to do that i want to lock the second record as well at the at the same time so here i'm coming and i want to lock the second record so press f6 and the second record is this one 3000 triple zero one okay last time it was triple uh, four times zero it was now it's triple zero one. So if you go and check previous record will not be there. Okay, it's there. It's still here. You can see that it's still here. So I think scenario is not replicated at this moment. Okay. So let me check what's the problem because I wanted to replicate this scenario basically and then I wanted to make you understand. So just give me a second. I will check and again, let you know. Fine, I got it corrected now. Now the scenario will be replicable. There was one little change just I have done. I will explain what I have done actually. But let me first uh, show you here that if you see that it is not able to you know lock the multiple records though it's there in the loop right so here uh, i'm just going to lock this first record bookers nln1 nln2 right press f6 so at this moment it got locked click on this search button right it got Log. Just I have refreshed by clicking on the search and this is the entry got locked 3000 and then 0, 0, 0, 0. This is the sub number. Now again, if you press F8, here it has come right the control and if you try to lock this F6. So now 3000 and triple zero one should be locked and that is fine. It should be locked see here 3000 triple zero one but the previous lock is gone now right so this is the second loop path but only the first record was locked again press f8 and control has come over here and again i'm going to see here site tab x is three so third record i'm going to lock and third record will be locked but the see here this is the third record 3001 see and then four times zero four times zero so third record is locked but the last two records which we locked that is now not present so sometimes you will face 
face such kind of scenario and your requirement will be to lock multiple records together so that later point of time maybe you will have to you know do some check or some validation or something like that there can be a number of possible cases right and you want to lock all the records in one go but you are not able to do so due to some reason so we'll try to understand what can be the possible reason with the help of which you will not be able to lock the multiple records in one go in fact generally when you are putting into the loop this is the normal behavior that system will go and lock the record you know one by one and the multiple records you will be able to see over here this is the general behavior in which scenario you will be not able to see let me explain this one so once again i'm just pressing f8 and if you press f6 you know again press f8 and you can see that the last fifth record i press f6 still if you come and see here only the last of last record that means the fifth record will be locked 1000 and triple zero one right 1000 and triple zero one so let's try to understand see what is happening exactly when the loop is running you know when the loop is running then after this we have this particular piece of code also right so if you just go and check in this uh, piece of code what we are doing it over here we are changing the description of the asset okay and we are calling this particular bapi bapi fixed asset change so this particular bapi when we call it's changing the description of that asset and here you can see that it is successful and the watch change this is a set description is now changed right and after that we are performing this commit work and wait statement that means what it will do that it will update it will trigger the update work process update function module and whatever it has to update it will update okay and once it is going to get update the records in ANLA table then it will release the lock on this particular record okay this is the behavior when you are going to you know put the lock so let me explain this concept in little more detail so it will be easy to understand okay so this was the total uh, you know five records is now completed okay and that's why you are not able to see the multiple lock you know you are not able to see the lock on multiple records why because inside this perform i'm writing a code which is changing the asset record and when you are performing the commit work and wait statement it's triggering the update function module you know it's triggering the update work process and it's updating the data in the table if you don't have idea about the update function module and update work process right how update function module works then just search in the youtube update function module by pankaj and you will be able to see the three or four videos related with update function module there i have explained in detail or maybe i will be giving you the link under the description box okay so now here this particular argument plays this particular parameter plays very very important role underscore scope parameter can have three values so let's go and you know try to understand underscore scope parameter underscore scope parameter can have three possible values one is one one means throughout 
one let let me put it one and then two and then three currently if you observe we are passing two over here right underscore scope we are passing this two two means the scope of the log underscore scope means what means what will be the scope of logging that means till when the log will be there on that particular record that we are defining very very important parameter you know very very important parameter you should not forget so two means the meaning of this two if you are passing the two that means its a scope will be till when the update is triggered that means if a record is locked then the lock is going to be there on that record until the update function module on that particular record is triggered that is the meaning of this two so till the update is triggered and update will be where update will be there under the update function module so update is triggered that means update function module update fm is triggered and this is going to be triggered when we know that this is only possible when you are going to write the commit work statement either you write commit work or commit work and wait so the scope of the log when you are passing the parameter as two it is going to be till only when when you are writing the commit work and commit to work and wait because this is going to trigger your update function module right and that's the reason after the first log we are calling this particular subroutine and inside this subroutine i'm um, changing this and when you are changing this one it's calling the update function module right and when you are putting this commit work and wait it's triggering the update function module and your you know lock is gone so let me show you once again i'm going to change this time description from test 2 to test 3 so that the lock uh, change will be triggered and then I will show you so put the breakpoint over here uh, just activate it and put the breakpoint here just execute this one and now press uh, f6 you know the first lock is applied here you can uh, see that sm12 the first lock is applied right the first lock is applied now i'm um, just coming here f5 go inside this f6 f6 and enable this update debugging okay and press f6 and if you click on this like press f6 now this time it will trigger the update function module see here update function module now if you realize that you know the color will be also changed because you are currently under the update function module see here there are three locks at that particular moment why one is locked by us another two is done by this function module you know uh bapi fixed asset change that particular function module you know that particular function module puppy fixed asset change this has done the lock this has applied the lock right so whenever you are going to perform any kind of uh, change right inside the puppy also the locking mechanism is there right so that is applying the another two lock okay and uh, see, see here like if you observe that one the lock is there on this 3000 generic lock on this 3000 a and ln1 right so all the sub numbers along with this uh, asset number will be locked right and here the one correct another sub number with the same asset number so all this lock is applied over here and here like if you see the update count so here too one is done by us 
and second is done by BAPI fixed asset change. So that's why 112. Here, one is the BAPI fixed asset change, and here on one because BAPI fixed asset change has applied the lock once. So this. So, so basically, like when you pass the underscore SCO parameter equals to two, as, as we have discussed, a scope equals to two. If you pass this particular entry will be, you know, you will be able to see the entry over here one. So one time lock is applied. That means one will be here again. One will be here, you know, based upon the lock argument here it's showing two because one i have locked this particular entry with the help of our nq function module this one this one right and another is by bapi fixed asset change so that's why so in bapi fixed asset change also there will be some nq function module which will be locking this particular record so this particular record, of course, is going to get locked because this is the generic lock applied over here, right? So this is itself going to be sufficient to, right, put the lock over here, correct? So one and one, two, that's why. Hope you are able to understand. If not, you can put here in the comment box and I will try to give the answer, okay? Fine. So now, now you understood update counter is going to get increase or update if you pass underscore scope equal to two okay so now when it will uh when when this particular update function module will be executed right so just press f8 when it will be executed then what will happen that this lock you will now see that it will be released because your entire update function module is now executed okay and one thing also see here it is in yellow color so while update function module is going to get run during those time this will be there in the yellow color right you can see that now click on this search and you will be able to see there will not be any lock right why because the commit work and wait statement got executed and it fires, it triggers the update function module. And because you are passing the two as a underscore scope, you know, it's a, a scope is till when commit work is triggered. Okay, till when the commit work or commit work and wait is going to trigger. So this is what you should understand so the first lock is now gone right because your update is done and that is okay also right once your changes is done on the record lock should be removed right so it's working as expected but in our scenario like we were able to understand that why it's not applying the multi uh, why it's not applying the lock on multiple records right so we are trying to understand what are the possible reason you will not be able to see because in the large program when you are going to have the loop and if else so many is you know so many so many lines of code then you may be able to see that and if you are trying to use the existing loop okay if you are trying to use the existing loop and inside loop several lines of code and you might be thinking you would be thinking that let me write the nq function module and lock all the entry here itself then in that case it might not be possible and you will be getting the problem what you will have to do you will have to write the loop statement separately and put the loop without having the another code inside like if you want to put the lock on multiple records if you have some another code like this which is triggering the update function module then it will not be able to you know lock in one go because of the commit work and commit work either commit work or commit work and wait both is uh, both can trigger the update function module and then in that case your lock will be removed hope i'm making sense fine 
what is the another way what is the another region your lock will be removed if you are passing underscore scope equal to two one is just we have seen that if you simply trigger the update function module right by writing the commit walk and commit walk and wait a statement then the lock will remove right what can be the other thing which will remove the lock one thing is that when you will come out from the entire session of the program then also lock will be removed right that is fine now another question you might be thinking that you know you you might be thinking that if you simply go and write commit walk statement or maybe commit walk and wait statement without calling this change bapi so this change bapi is basically calling the update function module and when you write this it triggers that but when you don't write this one there will be no any update function module and in that case if you write the commit walk and wait statement there is nothing going to get trigger right it will not trigger anything and in that case it will not release the lock okay if you also think that you put you know some insert statement or some update statement on that particular table right ANLA table and then you put the commit work and wait without calling the update function module right then also it will not release the lock that means update function module call is mandatory if you want to release the call if you are passing as a underscore a scope equal to two so as a scope equal to two if, if you are passing update function module call is mandatory if you don't call the update function module and simply write commit work and wait it will not work or if you think that if you just write insert or modify on the ANLA table and then you simply write commit work or commit work and wait then also it will not release the lock you must have to call the update function module see this particular function module is calling the update function module inside right this and that's why when you write this one it's triggering update module and it's releasing the lock so hope you got this particular point you can go and do the experiment what i am telling you know the first experiment what you have to do that simply you write uh, this commit work and wait a statement without uh, writing this one so just comment this maybe you can use the same code right and you can comment in this particular part and if you simply uh, come write this commit work and wait you know you will uh, or, or maybe quickly i will be able to show you i will quickly show you it will not take much time right just uh see here let me let me let me come out so at this moment i will simply remove this so it will not trigger every time this update module in debugging so come here come here and simply comment this code simply comment this code and simply i'm the first first which i told that if you simply write commit work and wait it will uh, not be having any impact okay so first this point we will see so come here and just go back put the point here and run this so press f6 there will be one entry at this moment in this right you can see that and when you uh, go and execute this right this commit for convert simply and if you come here last time you would have seen that it has released the lock but now you will not be able to see here it's not releasing the lock so simply commit work and wait will not release the lock 
okay but one thing if you simply write roll back it will release the lock this is one another important point which you should know i will i will just uh, uh, show you here let me press uh, let me come out from this go here and simply you put the roll out if you simply put the roll out over here okay So roll out, commit work and roll back, sorry, roll back work, not roll out, roll back work. So if you put the roll back work, then it will release the log, okay? So I will show you this one. Just go back and activate this one and come here, execute this and uh, press F6. You just go and check, search this, and this lock is there, right? Lock is applied. And now press F5, F5. So simply come here and roll back walk. Now we are expecting to not have this lock. And you can see that the lock is not there. So roll back walk will remove the lock. Simply if you write the commit walk, you know, it is not going to work. Okay, now one more thing you can simply do modify uh, a n l a from w a. So modify this from w a and this uh, data w a type a n l a and w a some field may be uh, you know I, I want to update some field probably. So select single star from A N L A into W A. So some 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 field maybe where A N L N one equals to some of the values. Simply I'm going to take it slash one uh, uh, S sixteen A uh, this this particular and maybe here. So whatever the value we are going to pass, it's better to get that particular value, right? So in debugger, I will do that, okay? So that will be good. In debugger, I will simply put one variable I will declare, L L V A N L N one or, or maybe this we can take, okay? in ln2 equals to and here the bookers bookers equals to so this is this looks fine single record i'm selecting and something we can modify over here Okay, direct modification of any standard table is uh, not a good practice at all. It's a crime. But here, because I have to show you just uh, I'm doing, please don't follow as a practice. This is just a demo system, uh, test system, you know. So I'm doing it, but you are not supposed to do like this. Okay. So WA and then maybe let's see here we have one txt 50 field this is the description field and here test five something like that i'm just putting it check it and click on this activate button so here one field is there in anl and table uh, anl table and that we want to just uh, you know update and here you are just putting the commit work and wait so what actually i'm trying to tell like if you think that after modifying like this, if you just try to write commit work and wait a statement, it's not going to be benef means it's not going to release the lock. Okay. So uh, let's go back uh, quickly and then activate it once again. Just run this one and come here. Click on this. Currently, there is no lock, right? 
press F6 and press F6 lock is now applied successfully click on the search one lock is there right and now come here come here I want to you know uh, get one record we got the record in WA correct and I want to maybe txt 50 right so txt 50 will be able to see somewhere or maybe here I will show you txt 50 so test three is the current description. I changed from text three to text test five and just I want to modify. Got modify also successfully size C zero and commit work and wait. If you just put commit work and wait on that particular record itself, this also will not release the lock. You can see that it's not releasing. But the same thing if you would have done by writing an update function module and if you have called that update function module, from here and then if you will be writing commit work and wait or simply commit work a statement it would have released the lock important point please note it okay so underscore scope parameter equals to two how it uh, plays the role we understood okay Fine, so we understood like uh, what is the meaning of a scope underscore two. Similarly, like, you know, uh, uh, a scope under, underscore a scope underscore uh, equals to two we understood. This we can have uh, one and two value, right? Let's try to understand this. One means if you pass the value one, that means the lock uh, will the scope of the lock will be till complete a dialogue session complete dialogue session let's suppose i have put the lock in a dialogue session means this is what when when we uh, when when we are running this one right and when we are putting it this is a dialogue session right means the session through which user can interact that is known as the dialogue session so under this session lock is going to remain till the dialogue session is going to be present okay so lock will be till complete dialogue session is present right so if you want to have the lock till the complete dialogue session it is not going to bother you know when the update is going to trigger or not right it's going to remain throughout the complete session and the meaning of uh, this uh, three means the lock will be a kind of dialogue as well as update you know lock is going to be there in the throughout the dialogue session and when some update is going to get triggered at that time also the lock will be there so that's the meaning of th uh, three so dialogue plus uh, update you know in both the session this is good three is nothing but combination of one and two so three is nothing but combination of uh, see one is nothing but your dialogue one represents uh, the dialogue two represents uh, during the its uh, scope is going to be during the up, uh, update so one thing you should know that in SAP standard doc documentation, if you go and check it out, it tells that if you pass the one, that means, you know, uh, dialogue lock honor. They, they tell that this is the dialogue lock honor. This is the update lock honor. And this is dialogue lock honor and update lock honor. Okay. So this is how are they tells that when the scope is going to be there for the dialogue lock owner a scope is going to be there for the update uh, lock owner and this is going to be there for that but the complete meaning of that means you know this only so you can uh, uh, let me show you this particular thing by passing the value one okay so if you just pass this value one last time if you observe and let me uncomment this one and this time i'm just going to comment this okay so this time you will see that because i'm going to pass the one from here okay because i'm going to pass the one from here 
what it will do can you tell me it's going to remove the lock or not okay after commit work and wait statement it's going to call update function module after this the update will be triggered so this is going to remove the lock or not tell me your answer you know answer will be no it will not remove the lock why because you are passing one from here means through the entire session lock is going to be there that means if you want to put the lock on entire lock entries you know one you could have passed right so this is it in, in inside this loop like if you have to put the log on entire uh, records means on all the records so let me show you quickly activate this and put the big point press f8 f6 lock is applied so lock is applied right you can see that lock is applied lock is applied 3000 and triple zero it's there okay it's applied successfully come here press f5 and see it's calling the update and all and now it's triggering so it's triggering right so though it's triggered the commit work and wait statement or simply commit work it will not remove see here, it's not removed why because this is now there in the dialogue session okay i'm past one and here you can see that the dialogue count is one right when when that lock is applied in the dialogue session that means the dialogue lock owner dialogue owner right dialogue owner then dialogue count this particular field will be updated when it was uh, locked by the update owner then in that case you know in that case it was uh, uh then it, it that particular field was getting updated fine so there was some network issue again we are good over here so you understood like because when you are passing the one from the parameter right the dialogue uh, uh lock owner or dialogue owner is uh, putting the lock and that's why it's uh, going to throughout the session okay and that's why it's uh, the dialog counter is updating as one good now press f8 and f8 let me restart now once again let's pass the three over here and try to understand how it's uh, going to be press f8 and if you press F6, you know, and uh, just go and refresh this. See, just refresh this. You will see that one for dialogue and one for update is there, right? Why? Because we just understood that, you know, here. Three means dialogue and update. Means that lock is going to be there throughout the complete dialogue session as well as if there is some update is going to happen then also so because here we uh you know so 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 in in both the place that lock will be there okay so here you see here you see and what i'm going to do call this so fixed asset uh, change uh maybe let's come back here and i will change this description because it was test three. I will just put test eight or something like that. Some change so that the update will trigger. Otherwise, it will not trigger. So I've just changed it. Let's see the change is successful or not. What change, right? So if you just press F6, I could have commented two time is not required, right? But it will not create any problem. Okay. So commit work and wait is executed now. And if you click on this search, that means if you refresh this, you will see that update count is gone. Only dialog count will be there. Why? Because, because commit work and wait statement is executed, this one. And it would have triggered the update process, update function module, you know. So if you click on this search, it has gone completely. Why? It should not gone. It should, it should be not gone 
uh, completely basically because we are passing what three right we are passing three so at least one uh, that means one lock should be there let me let me check it no it is gone so this I need to check let me check it quickly okay so it looks fine uh, there is no problem so see uh, it looks fine for like as per my understanding see here here it's you can see that one is for dialogue owner and one is for update owner now what it should happen that it should go inside and uh, like uh, you know as soon as this commit work is getting triggered then it should remove this update counter and dialog counter should still be one this should be happen over here but uh, if you see that when commit work and wait is executed uh, now like uh, just just refresh it go back let me refresh it dialog count is still one and counter is one right it should be removed this basically it should be removed and only the dialog counter should be there okay let me try once again i'm putting it over here this three now the second accord right this the second one uh yes this is the second one and now if we go inside and got executed and all right it's not removing the lock basically there is no lock is getting uh, removed so this may be uh, due to that reason because the update is not getting triggered okay so let me do one thing come here go to the change mode I said change and change this value something like 15 or something like that some changes should happen then only the update will be triggered so put the big point once again and run this execute this one and come here come 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 this time it's triggering and now let's go to sm12 once again click on this search nothing is there here at least one entry should be uh, with the dialog count one this is my expectation but uh, it's not happening in this way so second record again we have uh, you know locked here one here one so this is okay press f5 f6 f6 and f6 right so now you can see that this is done by the bapi fix asset change right and here dialog count one here update count uh, two and uh, now when the update is going to be processed so here dialog count is one and update count is two and again when we are pressing f6 then if you click on this and all both the lock is gone right so as per my understanding what it should happen actually you know the third lock again i have applied one one is there what it should happen that it should uh, happen like after commit and walk this update one should be only gone dialog count one should be here but because this is the standard function module i'm not sure if something like that like because a, a standard is also locking you know the standard is also apply the lock uh, update lock and uh, a dialog lock was already there right so when it's clicking this commit and uh, work this entry also removing and this also it's a uh, removing right my expectation was to just to remove these two and from here this one because update is getting triggered now right 
and it should remove only the update count not the dialog part but it's removing the dialog part as well so i'm not sure about that i will check if you know about something this you put here in the comment box or you know uh, i will go and check it so your input is also uh, very valuable over here okay so that's the meaning of one two and three basically three i was not able to demonstrate but uh, if you see here the documentation also tells the same thing i just was checking the documentation and if you are like here see the lock or lock release is also passed to the update program the lock must be removed in both the interactive program and in the update program then only lock should be gone this is the standard setting of the dq right so this is what like uh, you know uh, it should happen but uh, and that's fine I will, I will check maybe i will be having some understanding issue you know so i will check more and i will maybe do some more research on this part and i will uh, show you but one thing is clear for one and two there is no problem at all right uh, and three this also is telling like you know three this also is telling this is the combination or maybe some another documentation if you just uh, check it sap help underscore a scope parameter okay the scope three the log belongs to both honor honor one and on honor one means dialogue honor honor two means update honor okay in other words it uh, it combines the behavior of both this log is concealed when the last of the two honors has released it okay so it is going to get released when last of the two honors has released it so when the dialogue and okay i got it now then you know it's working fine so it's telling last of the two honors that means update honor and uh, you know uh, this update honor and dialogue honor if both is going to get remove then the lock will be applied and that's why it's working then as expected i got what is happening actually you know so if you come inside see at this moment you will be having this one and one one is dialogue and another is update so what i was thinking that update only will be removed but not it's telling clearly here it contains the behavior of both that's fine but this log is concealed when the last of the two honors that means last uh, uh, this dialogue on a last dialogue on a last update honor will be removed that means see when we are going inside this BAPI, if you come inside this BAPI, what is happening now? Just understand this scenario. See, one update owner got created and another, uh, one update owner got created and another dialogue owner. Uh, no, dialogue, it was already there, right? It was already there. Update got here one and update one got here. There is no new. Okay, so last uh, update honor is gone. Uh, last update honor has come over here, and it's telling that when the update honor is going to be removed. So it looks like uh, when the last honor, right? When the last of the two honor, that means whatever the last of the two honor is there. So last honor is the update honor. When update honor is going to be released then the lock will be released okay i think this is what it's telling and if we uh, understand in that way then it's working fine right so last honor was the update honor see here one got increased and here also one got increased and last honor was imposed by that function module bapi fixed asset change right so when the last update owner is going to get uh, released then the entire lock is getting uh, released so if you just search you can see that it's uh, getting removed so i think what it's telling that when the last lock let's suppose means in the very beginning the update lock and dialog lock both got applied right and uh, when you know it's telling the lock is cancelled when the last of the two owners has released this 
So what I was understanding that if the both owner, that means the update owner and uh, dialogue owner both are released, then only it should release. But it seems like even though update owner is releasing, it's uh, getting released. So maybe I will do some more experiment and try to understand what exactly it's trying to tell. But as of now, with this experiment, it uh, with this uh, uh, demonstration, it looks like that when update is releasing, the complete lock is getting released. Okay, but I will see and I will confirm. If you 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 also can put your thought over here. Fine. So this is okay. We understood the scope parameter. Now uh, let's go and check it out. What we have to discuss inside this. Uh, collect parameter so see this collect parameter what it does that it is going to collect all the lock together let's suppose you want to put the five lock so if you pass this collect collect either you can pass capital x or blank value okay and with this collect parameter like if you simply pass this x at this moment it will not uh, apply the lock Okay, so uh, I'm just removing this asset change, that particular stuff, and I will show you. Currently, like if you simply pass this blank value over here, right, just save it, activate this, and activate this. And if you come here, execute this one. So the first lock is applied, right? Second lock is applied, third lock is applied, fourth lock, when you are not passing anything inside this collect. Okay, see here the four lock, and this is now the fifth lock, okay? So total fifth lock is applied because in this we are having the five records. On those five records, the lock is applied and press. So at this moment itself, the lock got applied, right? Lock is applied. And just when we came out from the session, the lock is released. Now, if you pass the X over here, you will see that lock at that moment will not be applied. It will take, a, you know, a, we have one function uh, function module, nq underscore flush. I will show you that uh, function module, nq flush. Okay, let me check out the name of the function module. Basically, we have one name of the function module. And uh, when that you are going to put it over there, then, uh, you know, uh, it will apply the lock. So SAP help lock collect parameter. So this is the lock plus underscore NQ. So this is the function module basically. Let me quickly show you this. Come here, come here and like at last, you can pass this value plus NQ and that's just save this one, check this and activate this one. So you will, you will see now when I'm passing the X, then you know uh, run this so see if it nq function module got executed but still you will not be able to see any entry see there is no entry why because collect equal to x we are passing if it second uh, loop also went th third fourth you know fifth also event so there should be fifth five entries over here but it's not present why because we are passing blank uh, we are passing x over here we are collecting the lock together and in one go we want to apply the lock so see when you use this plus underscore nq function module 
size of our c0 right that means it's got successful apply and now we will be able to see all those five entries together see here so this is how the collect parameter works basically so hope this is uh, clear now the last point what we have that the weight parameter right so uh, let me explain this weight parameter quickly weight parameter is nothing but uh, when you try to for example over here uh, when you try to let me come out from this uh, session see when you pass this weight weight is also having the two possible value one is blank and another is x that means if you pass x over here okay first if you are passing the blank value then what will happen see as soon as some another user has put the lock on the entry okay then in that case as soon as you pass the blank over here it will tell that foreign lock system failure and all okay but now let's for example over here slash n mm02 okay and let's see what's the entry is coming and then i will show you run this and here uh this bookers and this one right three thousand and i intend four times zero a s zero two three thousand four times zero and i intend okay i intend so you can see that we are able to put the lock right why because it's still not get locked right so here just press f8 and now it is locked means it would have been given maybe the uh, it it is locked now because nq plus is now applied and it is locked and now if you try to check it it will be giving there right so that's fine so this is uh, I got one uh, entry and now I will show you quickly come here okay focus on the weight parameter so I'm going to remove this collect so weight means as soon as the lock is present it will tell you that foreign lock uh, is there that means it will give you quickly the exception okay it will it will not uh, wait for the another user to you know or another session to release the lock it will not wait that's the meaning of uh, this uh, uh, weight statement like if you pass the blank currently so for example this particular asset the same asset i'm here locking right so if you just go and check it out that asset is 3000 and that triple zero means all the asset starting means all the stated uh, asset where asset number is 3000 is now locked right so if you uh, are going here quickly and try to uh lock it will give you the foreign lock error basically so see here size of rc is one that means the foreign lock got triggered right so this is what actually i'm trying to tell foreign lock got triggered but 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 if you pass this weight parameter as a x then under rj11 we have a profile parameter where the seconds are configured five seconds 10 seconds or something like that if the five seconds is configured then it will wait for the five seconds to wait that uh, another session will release the lock for example here i will show you so you come here and press f8 and press f6 so see here it's taking time it's taking time it's taking time why it's taking time it took around some five seconds or something like that we will go and check what is that parameter value how much it is maintained you know and till five seconds also the lock was not released so it has waited till five seconds and still the lock was not released that's the meaning of uh, to wait we are telling to the system we are commanding to the system please wait for given seconds which is uh, configured in the profile uh, parameter by the basis people okay again f8 and see uh again f6 it's uh, waiting again waiting 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 and as soon as you will go and release quickly you know 
so what i will do this time see here i will i will come here and i will release the lock quickly okay so i will press f6 and i will go here and i will release the lock see so f6 oh okay i think that particular parameter is now not locked because it looks like some another see it's 3001 and what we have locked 3000 and lock argument got created for this so that's why it was quickly it didn't wait basically so let's see if we have some another 3000 related entries or not no we don't have another 3000 entries right so what we have to do just to demonstrate you once again i have to execute that transaction so and i will show you that how nicely it's working execute this and see okay okay so press f6 it will take this time some time press f6 taking time just to go back go back and come here quickly it will it has come out you can see that quickly it has come again so means within the timeline if someone is going to release the lock quickly it will come out otherwise you know it will again give you the foreign lock but when you pass the blank it will not wait for the lock to release that's the meaning of this so hope you understood this one what is that profile parameter let's go to rj11 and the parameter is something like nq let's let's search this i need to check that parameter uh q long wait timeout right so let's go and check this no this is something else let me quickly check it out this parameter and i will uh, show you so let's go to the google and wait parameter let's search for the wait parameter quickly here we will be able to find out that name foreign lock will be the profile parameter for uh, wait i want to search profile parameter for underscore waiting lock some blog we have and maybe we can check it out okay one is this one the controls the maximum time to wait default is five seconds right in q underscore delay max uh see here these are the important uh, parameter in q delay underscore max this controls the maximum time to wait default is five seconds right so in q underscore delay underscore max this is what actually i was uh, looking for so here you can come and check it out so this is the parameter in q delay in q delay max right this is what it looks like five seconds you can see that the current value is five seconds you need each second right in q work process so this is the parameter in q client delay underscore max uh here i'm not sure i think some mistake over here maybe because that is not present so let me put it this one and another parameter which is you can see that in q delay max refine how many times per second to retry means in one second how many times it has to retry default is one means per second once it will try so with the default delay underscore max uh, it will try five times right so like that how how many times it has to so uh, you know uh, it has to tr try so by default it is going to be one delay max refine 
So that is uh, there. Uh, delay max refine. If you see that it's it's there, and see how much its value one, right? Current value is one. So every time once it is going to be try. If you are going to change the value from one to two, maybe then in that case two times it will try. So you can go and check it. Means change to two. And then every second it will, uh, you know, check. Uh, miss every second it will try uh, two times. Okay. So this is the meaning of uh, this delay max. Also, like here I am having the authorization to change. As you can see that it's allowing me to change. So if you just go and change the current value from five to maybe fifteen seconds, you know, it will wait till fifteen seconds. Change made. And if you just go and run that particular program, uh, I think it's running. Let me try once again, okay? This time. So second value, bookers, NLN1, and three times, let's, let's, let's put into the change mode, right? So <laughs> it's there. Okay, let's uh, restart it. And now go into the change mode. So we are here now in the chain, but now the same like uh, now, now it's going into apply the. So you will see that it will wait for 15 seconds. See, it's still there, still there, still there, still there, you know, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, right? It should come out now. It Yeah, 15, right? So still 15 seconds, it will wait again. 15 seconds, right? Meanwhile, like if you go and remove this lock, under 15 seconds here, the lock is. So like that, that the profile parameter. So these parameters are important. I have put it over here, okay? So in the lock part, we understood all these four points. Why uh, I'm not able to lock multiple records, very important. What is the scope of a scope parameter? What is the use of collect parameters? What is the use of underscore weight parameters, right? So, and one thing also like you should know, it's a simple though. See, any kind of uh, conflict is there, any kind of lock is already present, then foreign key equals to one will be there. If any system failure or some network failure or something like that, then the system failure will come and uh, in another option, size sub RC will be set as three. So size sub RC one means foreign lock, size sub RC two means uh, system failure and size sub RC three means some another error. When you call this function module. With this, let's uh, stop this session over here. And uh, maybe if something is left in this log part, you can put here in the comment box. I will try to create the video on that as well. So. Thank you for watching for the first video. I will be sharing the link in this uh, description section and for basic of lock also, I'll be sharing the link there. You can go and check it out. Thank you. Bye-bye for watching.